NFL owners unanimously approve a rule that bans the hip drop tackle. Orlando, Florida, AP, the NFL is eliminating the hip drop tackle. NFL team owners on Monday unanimously approved a rule that bans players from using a swivel technique to tackle an opponent. A violation will result in a 15-yard penalty and could ultimately result in fines for players. NFL executive Jeff Miller said the hip drop tackle was used 230 times last season and resulted in 15 players missing time with injuries. The NFL Players Association has opposed the rule. Bracket not busted, all top 8 seeds advance to Sweet 16 in chalky March Madness. March Madness arrived with visions of chaos. The only surprise so far has been the lack of pandemonium. The top two seeds from each region are still alive. One double-digit seed will join them in the Sweet 16. Top seeds Yukon, North Carolina, Houston and Purdue advanced. So did number two seeds Arizona, Tennessee, Marquette and Iowa State also advanced. It is just the fifth time that has happened since the start of seeding in 1979. Obviously the mistake was made, Big East remains unbeaten in NCAA tournament after only three bids. New York, AP, since a disappointing selection Sunday for the Big East, the conference has not lost an NCAA tournament game. Defending national champion UConn, Marquette and Creighton all advanced to the Sweet 16. Three NCAA bids for the Big East was its fewest since 1993. Now it is the only multi-bid conference to get through the first week of the tournament without losing a game. The Atlantic Coast Conference has the most teams in the Sweet 16 with four. Meanwhile, the Big 12 and Southeastern Conference, which combined for 16 bids, each only managed two teams in the regional semi-finals. Danny Alves released from prison after paying bail while awaiting appeal of rape conviction in Spain. Madrid, AP, Brazilian soccer star Danny Alves has been released from prison after paying 1 million euros in bail to be set free while appealing a rape conviction. Alves was found guilty last month of raping a woman in a nightclub in December 2022 and sentenced to four years, six months in prison. He denied wrongdoing. The 40-year-old Alves had spent the last 14 months in the Bryans 2 prison located 45 minutes from Barcelona. A court last week granted him the possibility to leave prison on bail after all of his other previous requests had been denied because he was deemed a flight risk. China releases South Korean soccer star after a nearly one-year detention over bribery suspicions. Seoul, South Korea, AP, a star South Korean soccer player who was detained and investigated in China for nearly a year over bribery allegations has been released and returned home. Seoul's foreign ministry is giving few details. Sun Jun Ho is a former member of the South Korean national team who played professionally in China. He was detained by Chinese authorities at the Shanghai airport in May on suspicion of taking bribes.